Hi, in this one I wanted to show you a quick trick to make exponentiation faster. And it doesn't only apply to exponentiation, apparently you can also use it for matrix multiplication. And in the next video I will show you uh, how you can apply it for modular exponentiation, which is quite useful in cryptography. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, let me just jump right into it. So, what you would do, uh, let's say we have a uh, 5 exponent 10, and like the naive approach would be to just multiply uh, 5 10 times uh, by itself. Uh, but of course, that's, well, that's quite slow for uh, large exponents. But what you can do is, well, you already probably know that you can uh, decompose uh, an exponentiation by uh, like multiplying uh, the, the base, but as long as the exponents are the sum uh, like the, the decomposed exponents, I don't know if you say it like that, others are, uh, are uh, add, add up to, to the original one, it's the same value. Well, what you could do is uh, actually say 5 and then write, if you write 10 in base 2, so it would be 1010 uh, one zero, one zero, base 2, uh, you can see that we could decompose this only using the, the ones here and here. So you could say that this is equal to 5 exponent 8 times 5 exponent 2. And if I can compute 5 exponent 2 and 5 exponent 8 quite fast, I will only have to do one multiplication instead of 10. Well, I would have to do other stuff to compute those two things fast. But you see my point, like there is less multiplications to be done. And the, the higher the exponent, so this is only exponent 10, but if you say exponent uh, 1013 or something, you can imagine that using this technique, you will the maximum number of multiplication you would have to do is what fits in a in a 64-bit integers or 32-bit whatever you know, like the size of, the size of the uh, exponent type would be the maximum amount of multiplications that you would have to do. So this is quite powerful. So let me just uh, jump into the code on uh, how we are gonna write this. So uh, here I have just the the naive. Uh, where I just uh, multiply the result by the base uh, and I decrease the expo I decrement the uh, the exponent each time and uh, well let me not run this yet you can see yes this is the this is uh, five uh, exponent ten uh, so yeah this is the result so let me quickly show you uh, how we can do the binary power instead. So, uh, well, we still have a result, and we're going to return this result. And this is the similar principle where we are going to loop until the exponent is zero. So we're going to do something to the exponent, which is going to make it decrease. Uh, and the, the thing that we want to do is that we, instead of, uh, instead of decreasing the exponent by one, we want to left, itch, uh, left, uh, left shift it by one. So uh, let's say, so exponent will be left shifted by one here. And so since we're left shifting the exponent, we want to uh, scale the base as we decrease the, the exponent, if that makes sense. So we say base uh, uh, will be multiplied by itself. So as you, unscale the exponent, you scale up the, uh, the base. And now you can say if uh, the first uh, binary digit of exponent is one, then we add the base, uh, we multiply the, the result by the base. So I, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense just like that, but basically I could explain it uh, better here. If I, uh, so let's say just the, this exponent, which will be zero uh, uh one zero one zero so we, we will start here and we will say uh so this guy is zero so uh we can scale the thing up but we are not going to multiply by anything since it's zero it has no impact so this will be cut off then uh, we will arrive here and uh, the base will be already be scaled up and we see that it's a one so we can say uh, uh we can say that uh, we should multiply by this then we will uh, check that one out. And then here again, we see that it's zero. We scale things, uh, we scale the base up and we uh, uh, and we cut that off. And then here, finally, we see that it's a one. So we can uh, uh, 
multiply the result by the base again. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I can show you that it just works as exactly as the other one. But here we had to do uh, 10 multiplications, and here we had to do uh, 2, and we had to do, well, 2 multiplications, then 4, uh, so 6 multiplications in total, and uh, a few left shifts uh, as well. But you can see that uh, when you scale the exponent up, this uh, difference will be huge uh, compared uh, between the naive approach and the binary uh, power approach. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Uh, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll show you how this can be even more useful in the next video when I talk about modular exponentiation. See you in the next one.